Hi guys, I'm pretty sure you've seen from the title where we are going. At the moment we are in Porto Santo Stefano. We are going to take the ferry to go to Isola del Giglio, one of the islands of the, uh, that makes the archipelago Toscana. So I'm so excited. And by the way, happy Easter to everybody, guys, because the time that we are filming this is Easter. So where we are going, Melanie? Sure. And what do you have inside that bag? My basket. What basket? My Easter basket. Let's see. Let's see. It's a Polish tradition to fill an Easter basket with bread, salt, butter, and um, some sort of meat or ham, fruits. Okay. And you get it blessed normally on Easter Saturday. Oh God, look at the lemon tree. Oh, and the fig tree. I wish you could smell through the camera because okay. you can smell the fruits. We actually like it's a good weather. Mm -hmm. Sunny. So. And we're at Giglio Porto. Giglio Porto now, yes. Because Easter Angel Giglio has uh, three different locations Campese. Port, Porto, where we are now, and Castello, Castle, the oldest uh, location. Where is the, where is the castle, basically? And mass is in about half an hour. Yeah, it's 11:45. Let's see. Today. Really, you think it's not going to be very busy, the church? I think most people have already caught like the 9 a.m. and like 10 a.m. Mm. I doubt that. So guys, after the church, we can up here in the castle. As you can see, look at the view. That's incredible. That's incredible. So basically, where I'm pointing my finger, which is there, that is Isola d'Elba. Then you can see there, which is mainly rocky, as you can see from here, like, looks like more a volcano made of rocks. And that's it's Monte Cristo. And what's down there? Down there, our end target is Giglio Campese. It's the most beautiful location in my opinion. Not because I have a house there, <laughs> but it's because it's the longest beach on the island. So here we are guys, we are in Campese. As I said, for me, the most beautiful location of the island is the longest piece of beach of the island. And look at that. Tell me how can you not love a place like that? What you're looking there is called La Torre del Campese, which is one of the key locations that you must see when you come to Giglio. So that tower was built by Cosimo the First de Medici, de Medici, who was the Lord of Florence. He ordered to build the tower in the mid 1500 uh, because back then the island had threats from Turkish pirates so what would have happened back then there would have been people guards specifically up to the tower looking at the horizon 24 7 looking for any threats coming from the sea I can't believe how the island changed it's changed so much since I was little considering that the water was up here. The water was up here. And 
that spot over there is where I learned to fish for the first time. I was probably six, seven years old with my little net trying to catch crabs and sometimes even octopus, you know, like there were some octopus. Really? But I remember I used to be at least nearly a meter down there in order for me to catch with my net. It's incredible how the nature change. But yeah, so much memories bring me this place. We are in the last stop for Campese. Here where we are standing is where was the heart of the economy for Israel and Jin. As you can see behind me, there are three platforms, which two of them are actually collapsed. And the last, or the third one, the far end, still have a structure. They were used as transporting the pirite and was taking you from the cave, which you can see behind you, maybe. There would have been like a ship just at the far end. They would have transporting this pirite, transporting down through the platform to the ship and exporting. So, Melanie, which one is your favorite story of the island? Mmm, okay. So, there were many variations of this, but um, legend has it that the goddess Venus, the Roman goddess Venus, um, who is also known as Aphrodite, emerged from the sea to meet um, Hera, I believe it was, another goddess. I god, think so, yes. Um, or goddess. Um, and as she did, she was basically awoken from her slumber when she was coming out from the sea and um, her pearl necklace was a bit loose and she went to kind of fiddle with it but having just woken up um, her hands were still numb and when she kind of touched the necklace it broke and her pearls fell into the sea and that is how the Tuscan archipelago was formed and one of those pearls is Giglio.